What's good, YouTube? I just mixed a song for Rysane. Um, and I'm just going to break down how I would mix vocals like this or how I mix his vocals. It's a pretty dope song. Go check him out on all socials, on all music platforms, R-Y-X-A-N-E. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to play the song first, and then I'm going to go into the project because it would just the CPU just goes crazy because it's a lot of processing on it because the vocals weren't recorded in an ideal situation so yeah so baby don't go ghost on me yeah she don't care who she hurts in the moment so fucked up she okay with being alone and not in love Yeah, you could've just been with me by my side By my side, with no ties So baby, don't go ghost on me Yeah, she don't care who she hurts in the moment So fucked up She okay with being alone and not in love She don't care about the moment Imagine if I did them how you did me, yeah Cause that's how you leave a heart broken That's what I get for leaving myself open Some were so broken that they can't see nobody else in your life Cause you don't know what the future holds between love and pretend Now I'm prepared for the moment There won't be a day you see another bitch controlling me I don't mean to be frozen don't go ghost on me, yeah. She don't care who she hurts in the moment. So fucked up. All right, so this is the project file. You see, I start off with an auto tune, going through a deesser. We record with auto tune on, but throw another one on there, going through a deesser. Pre tech EQ, tube tech, which is two comp two EQs and a compressor, uh, another EQ another compressor a low level compressor that like how this compressor would like control the peaks this gets what's like at the bottom so it pushes the bottom up and then like the low level sound and then this one is just a c1 comp is like it's just going to be like taking out a certain frequency um and then the l2 just to like completely level the vocal out this is the first part of the hook i have another one for the second part of the hook it just sounds like more spacious and spread out and wider that's just the micro shift and this pro mb everything else is pretty much the same so i'm gonna let y'all hear it raw with just the auto tune and the reverb and stuff and then i'm gonna just go through them breaking it down yeah so baby don't go ghost on me yeah she don't care who she hurts in the moment, so fucked up. She okay with being alone and not in love. Yeah, you could have just been with me by my side with no ties. So, baby, don't go ghost on me. Yeah, she don't care. She don't care. She don't care. All right, so as you can see, that's the raw vocals. I turned off the ad libs and the verse and all that stuff because the CPU, as you can see, it's already kind of high with barely anything is even on. So, all right, let's go through it. Just the DSer. These are my settings for it. So basically, I don't really need to show much. It's a DSer. What I do with this though, I go to 100, put this about here. I take out a lot of 100 because that like in his vocal specifically with the mic we use which is the slate digital um, VMS it just I don't know why even though this is a flat mic it just builds up a lot in 100 in his voice so we take that out a lot and he has a lot of high end in his voice too so I go around 10k it depends on the song but then I just attenuate some of that high end too here's what that sounds like with just these if FL will let me yeah, so baby don't go ghost on me, yeah, she don't care who she hurts in the moments. You know, a little difference. 
Then I go into the tube tech. I kind of do the same thing as I do with the Puig tech on it. So, oh no, actually I didn't attenuate this time. I attenu I took out more 10k. It's just a lot of high end build up. Um, I dipped 500. That's all I did with this one. About three to one compression ratio, faster attack, little bit slower release, more like middle, in the middle. I'll let y'all hear what that sound like. Yeah. So baby, don't go ghost on me. Yeah. She don't care who she hurts in the moment. So, so yeah, FL not letting. Just not trying to have it with this one. Um. I do have it going to a parallel compression. The fat compressor that it's on is probably making the CPU go crazy, so I'm gonna just turn that off. Yeah, it went down a little bit, so I'm gonna take it off the vocal bus I have it on. And we'll just put this back over here, just for the sake of the tutorial, so I could just have more CPU. Um, I also have that going into an EQ. This is what my EQ looks like for these vocals. I just try to keep it simple. This part right here is a dynamic EQ, so it's gonna be ducking more of this 100 frequency. I took out some, I also use a shelf at 200 just to keep the vocals like down a little more around there because they could like really make the vocal jump out the mix if it's too much of that. Um, took out some five, took out some 1000, took out some almost 2k and then I roll off some top end up to about here depending on the song because this song it was just too much high and high end in it that it didn't need so with that it sounds like this yeah so baby don't go ghost on me yeah she don't care who she hurts in the moment so far alright then I got this R compressor 3 to 1 ratio this is the attack I use. I don't want, cause since the first EQ in the tube tick, I mean the first compressor in the tube tick, it already had a faster compression setting, a faster attack. So now I want to go with a slower attack and a, a bit of a normal, not normal, but not too fast, not too slow release. I'm only doing like two, three dB, two, three dB, um, gain reduction. So with that. Yeah, so baby don't go ghost on me, yeah, she don't care who she hurts in the moment, so fucked up, she okay with being alone. You can see it's activating on about every word, and that's my goal with compression, I don't know if that's correct, but I just do what sounds good to me. If you got any tips for me in the comments of something I could be doing better with these vocals, let me know, I'm open to criticism and you know all that stuff and tips um next compressor ain't much about this it's just bringing up the low level sound i'm not doing any high level um this um yeah that 3k range is what i'm trying to duck out you can see it right there play with that sound like yeah so baby don't go ghost on me yeah she don't care who she hurts and it's just taking out that harshness in that range. And then L2 is pretty simple. It's just chopping off the peaks. You don't want it to be like too much attenuation. I'll go for around three and less. Um, all right, now I'm gonna turn these off. I'm gonna move on to the other part of the hook. Yeah, you could have just been with. Okay, so, you know. Yes, they're same thing. EQP1. You know, same exact settings. It would y'all can hear what that sound like. Yeah. You could have just been with me by myself. Hold on, I don't even think I turned it on. Hold on, my fault. Yeah. You could have just been with me by my side. So yeah, sit back in the mix more. I know it turned it down more, but the end result it'll be better. I know. And 
this just okay so i took out more 100 in this one um attenuated more 10. did i do anything in this one oh yeah i dipped some 200 out of this one a lot of 200 out of this one because it just was a lot the way he recorded it compressor faster tech about mid release i'll let y'all hear that yeah you could have just been with me by my side so yeah that's that basically the same exact eq took off more more high end than the other one though because i really wanted this one to like just be floating and just be just sound real nice Um, this compressor, y'all see my settings on. I'm gonna play it. Yeah, you could have just been with me by my side. And you see how nicely that one is sitting now. Um, I don't think I went through too much of the Pro Q, so I'm gonna just run back through that real quick. Low shelf at about 230, just take off about 3 dB. Or just do what sounds good to your ears, honestly. That's what I do. Um, roll off to about 50 to get, like, if it's any, like, rumble or plosives or any of that. My biggest issue is this range. So if you see me ducking this a lot of times, that's why. Same C1. I don't even need to get into that one. Multi bin, Taking out more of that low end because, you know. And then this micro shift, I use the air preset, mix about halfway, focus about halfway, style two, detune, I don't want too much detune in it. And then the delay, keep it kind of loose. Like I just want that vocal to just be floating in a space. That's my goal with it. Take it off that vocal bus real quick, put it here. I'm gonna let y'all hear it. Yeah, you could have just been So I'm gonna play it with and without the micro shift so y'all can get the idea of what I was going for. Yeah, you could have just been with me by my side. I felt hating right now. Yeah, you could have just been with me by my side. With no ties. Like, do you see how much feeling that gives, like, the vocals? It, like, puts it in a whole different, like, it gives it a whole new vibe. So, experiment with plugins. I recommend MicroShift fully because it can really change the whole vibe of your song if you throw that on a vocal. Um, the verse, it pretty much has the exact same processing as the other things. So, I don't think I need to get too much into that. Let me see, EQ, a bit of a different EQ, taking out, go up to 1400, dipping some of this, the verse was, sounds completely, like it was recorded completely differently for some reason, so the process is a bit different, but overall it's the exact same, taking out the same things, oh yeah, I also have a little bit of chorus on there, put some pan yeah, on ad libs, I like to put metal flange or vocal sit in the middle, ad libs go on the side, I also have, since I'm already talking about things being on the side where's the guitar I have a micro shift on the guitar so it like spreads it out to the sides also so the vocal just sits right up the middle some drums sit right up the middle so you could have a much cleaner like your mix would just sound cleaner if you do stuff like that spread it out with that take out some mids with those EQs like just do what sounds good to your ears Oh, and this part right here is a distortion. So what that is, micro shift again, like spread it out, make it wider. Fab filter Saturn. I love using British pop amp if I'm gonna make something, some vocals distorted, because it just sounds real good.
so yeah that's just how i do the ad libs really reverby um and then you heard the distortion on it so yeah guys that's just how i would mix vocals like this or just right saying vocals if you want me to mix your music just hit me up all my socials are in the description um like and comment subscribe get me into the algorithm help me out and i can help y'all out with more of these videos so stay tuned for more and i'm out